I'm here at the corner of Mickey Avenue and Dopey Drive at the Walt Disney Studio in Burbank, California. Hi, I'm Leonard Malton. Mickey Mouse is more than a cartoon character. He long ago became a pop culture icon. Even little kids who've never seen one of his films may know his face from seeing it on a t-shirt or in three-dimensional form at one of the Disney theme parks. But it was the animated cartoons that established Mickey, and they are well worth revisiting. On this disc, you'll find every Mickey Mouse cartoon released to theaters from 1935 to 1938, beginning with the one many consider his greatest, the band concert. Yet, in a funny way, the band concert spelled the beginning of the end for Mickey as a solo cartoon star. As good as he is in this film, and his range of expression as the frustrated conductor is marvelous. His thunder is easily stolen by a newcomer on the scene, Donald Duck. From the beginning, Walt Disney and his staff had to face the fact that Mickey was a tough character to write for, because he wasn't naturally funny. Cheerful, yes. Likeable, absolutely. But not intrinsically funny. That's why he was always surrounded by funny supporting characters. Clara Cluck and Horace Horsecollar in the early days, then Pluto, of course, followed by Goofy and Donald Duck. By the time Mickey made his debut in Technicolor, in 1935, the gag men at the Disney studio were running out of ideas. That's why they so often let Pluto, Goofy, and Donald share screen time with Mickey in the years that followed. Still, there's only one Mickey Mouse, and whether he's journeying through the mirror or proving himself a brave little tailor, he's a timeless and endearing character, a genuine movie star.